Well, I thought we'd stay with the same theme as last week with our pot sticker video we did then. This week we're making the dolls some egg rolls. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy these are to make. All right, so we are actually using the exact same clays that we used last week for our pot stickers to make our egg rolls. So I've got my wrapper, same wrapper mixture mixed up, the translucent with a little bit of like a yellow ochre or a yellowish brownish color mixed into it just to make it a creamy color. And on my tile, I have the same chopped mixture. So if you need these uh, what this is, that's all in the blog post from last week. So I'm not going to repeat that here, but it's easy enough to go look it up. I will try to put the link in the blog post. So we are going to cut our wrapper. And I need, desperately need to clean my table. All right, I'm going to cut this. What we need this week are squares. Let's see if I can get to line up and we need I've got my tripod in my way so let me get this moved just a little closer to me my ruler is a little large but we need one and a half inch squares so we're going to cut here now can we cut yes we'll get a few more And put your clay off to the side that's not um, in the one and a half inch strip. Let's see how we see how we're still going to be kind of under camera. So I'm going to cut a square line here. This is where having a tripod is really a disadvantage because it's really in my way. Okay, there's one. And I did dust my tile with just some plain cornstarch. I keep a little container with cornstarch in it on my clay table. And I use that to dust my, my tile or anything else that I don't want to stick. These don't have to be perfectly straight, square, but you want them pretty close. Looks like we're going to be there. So not to the side. Now I think I'll just work on these few, and then I'll do the rest off camera. First, I want to get a piece of sandpaper down. I'm actually going to work on top of a piece of sandpaper today. These need a little more texture, and they need texture kind of all over. So we're going to take our same little filling mixture, not quite that much. And we kind of a log there. Toothpick, let me pick this up. And again, we're basically doing this just like if you were doing a real egg roll. Get this rolled in. And kind of roll it on the sandpaper. And there we go. So I'll do that a couple more times on camera, and then I'll turn the camera off, and I'll do the rest of the clay off camera. Then we're going to bake these, since this is, my clay today is primarily Sculpey 3, so that means I can bake at 275, and I'm going to bake these for eh, probably about 10 minutes, 275. I should have folded that down a little more. That's okay. 
it's nice when they all look a little bit different because it makes it look more handmade. And we're going to color these when they come out of the oven, not before, because we're not going to use chalks for these. But that's really all there is to it. We just put our filling on our little square, fold our top corner down, we fold our side corners in, other side corner in. Come on, come on, cooperate with me. And then we just roll it up. And kind of roll it back and forth on the sandpaper so that you get a little more um, texture. So let's do that one more time. Then I'm going to turn the camera off and finish up the rest of these. And it does help to have a toothpick or something to help you pick up that first corner. Sometimes the other corners too because sometimes this does not want to cooperate. And my house is really cold right now because it's getting into fall and uh, polymer clay doesn't like cold weather. Polymer clay likes summer weather better except it gets sticky. But it doesn't really like to condition when it's in cold weather. So I'm going to finish this up and bake them off and then I'll be back. Alright, so here are our egg rolls all baked and cooked. And I think they turned out really, really cute. We're going to color these and make them look cooked in just a moment. But first, I want to create my dipping sauce because my dipping sauce needs time to dry. And I found a couple of these little wooden bowls. Um, I don't know if you can still get these or not, but you can use any kind of small little bowl. I like white because it shows off the sauce better. But I just painted it white, uh, put a little blue rim around it, and then coated it in triple thick. And normally, for my dipping sauce, I would use gallery glass. But I don't have any gallery glass the color I want. So I'm going to show you an alternative. I have some triple thick. Going to put triple thick in here, about that much. And then I have some acrylic paint. I picked the orangiest red I had, and it wasn't, I would like to have had something a little bit more orange, but this will do. I'm going to take a toothpick, if I can find a clean toothpick in my drawer, and I'm just going to get just a Spot of this. Now it's turning out really, really red. So, what I'm going to do, since I have my amber gla gallery glass here, and we're going to be using this in just a minute anyway, put some of that in there. These are all acrylic products, so they'll mix just fine. Put some of this in there. Mix it around. A little bit more of that. And I might find some yellow paint when I get done with the um, egg rolls and add to it. If I do, I'll tell you when we come back. But what I want to do is turn this into a little bit more of an orangey color. And we'll let that dry. So let me get a wet wipe to wipe up the mess I just made. Okay, now let's get those egg rolls over here. And I'm just going to work right on my work tile. See if I can clean this up later. I'm going to put some amber gallery glass out. And I have a paintbrush. And let's get all of these guys over. And we need to make them look like they've been fried. So we're going to brush them with the amber gallery glass. I'm going to leave the ends the way they are. Just brush a coat on and then let this dry. And hopefully my house is warm enough that this will dry in a reasonable amount of time. It's a very thin coat. So I'm going to turn the camera off. I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of these 
and let them dry and when they get dry I'll be back. Alright the uh, glass stain on our egg rolls is all dry and I think they look so cute. Still a little wet on the bottom side. I did go back and put a second coat on. It's better to put two thin coats on with the glass stain than one thick coat and it, the first coat just didn't give me quite as much color as I wanted. But I love these. And this I did go back and add just a tiny tiny bit of orange paint to it to get it a little bit more orangey. And I think it looks really good. So I hope you've enjoyed this project today. I think the dolls are going to enjoy their Chinese takeout meal. There may be more coming in coming weeks. We'll just have to see what happens on the channel. And speaking of that, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and be sure and like my Facebook page because I usually put up a sneak peek photo and that is the quickest way to get a hold of me. Be sure and check the blog post for better photos. The links to all of that is always in the description box and I'll talk to you later. Bye.